Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. Now I'm gonna talk about Sacred Shield Charlotte Banner, which is gonna come on this week. So yeah, like you have known, she is an AoE magic tank and oh boy, she is really amazing. Because yeah, you will see later, okay? First, let's talk about her strong point. First strong point when you compare her to Awakened Rain is she has longer provoke duration. Why I compare her to Awakened Rain? Because on Japan, Sacred Shield Charlotte is the second AoE magic tank. So yeah, let's just see how much improvement they got in Japan after Awakened Rain, okay? So yeah, Sacred Shield Charlotte provoke lasts for 4 turns and Awakened Rain only for 2 turns. Whoa, that's really big difference. Like you know that on today's standard, I mean to today trial, we kind of need two tankers, one AOE and one for provoker. So Sacred Shield Charlotte, very very good when you need to absorb single magic attack and you use AOE mag AOE physical tank. And for support abilities, she also can imperil and buff ice and light resist which is useful okay and i think the most useful of her support ability is she has very nice defensive buff okay because ice and light resist are kind of niche but this 110 percent defense and spirit buff are insane basically you can ditch your buffer if you have sacred shield charlotte and this 110% defense spirit buff comes with 30% magic mitigation. So yeah, very good. If you have Iorit, again Iorit, you really don't need your buffer, okay? Because Sacred Shield Charlotte simply cast that uh, defense and spirit buff and your Iorit gonna cast 30% damage mitigation and you are set to go. Really good. Yeah, maybe you need elements to assist, but that can be obtained from someone else, okay? And she also able to recover 3000 health and 30 MP. That's good, but not that amazing because if you remember, Awakened Rain also able to do the same. Yes, he uses his LB crystals, but the effect is superior than this one. But yeah. Sacred Sea Charlotte give 150% faster LBV rate, something that is really important on today's standard. But if you pair her with Iorit, then you don't need this buff because Iorit also have that LBV rate. And I just remember that Iorit also have 110% attack buff. So really, Sacred Sea Charlotte and Iorit are really good pair. And for global version, they upgrade her. So she able to chain with Aurel Ray, Absolute Zero, and Disorder. That sounds amazing, but I think the only useful chaining she has is Aurel Ray. Why? First, Disorder. Disorder. Oh my god, this move is really... I'm not sure about the future, but right now, it is really underutilized. I can only remember Amelia and Recent, Randy, okay? Those two have this order, but are you, are you gonna use it? And next, Absolute Zero. It is good, it is global exclusive. I believe uh, more characters gonna learn this chaining family, but the problem, Charlotte doesn't have double or triple cast. Why that's a problem? It is also the same problem for this order, okay? Because if you chain her, let's say you use Mediana, then that means your Mediana cannot use her triple black magic. Because if you force using Mediana triple black magic, then your Absolute Zero won't chain correctly. So yeah, I'm not sure whether Global First Year and Sacred Shield Charlotte has double or triple cash, but from what I read on Japan, she doesn't have something like that. So this Absolute Zero and this order are kind of useless, but maybe you know what you should do with this, but for me, it's kind of useless. But 
Aurel Ray, it is a different case because if you remember, one of the best attacker on the global, Esther, has Aurel Ray on her LP. So really, Secret Shield Charlotte is really good partner with Esther. Very good. Okay, and maybe the best thing about Secret Shield Charlotte is her limit burst. Her limit burst is really insane because it gives all allies 50% damage mitigation. So from what I can remember, it is the highest. Yes, maybe there are some characters that able to give you more than 50%, but they only last one turn. But for Secret Shield Charlotte limit burst, it lasts for four turns. Yes, four turns. And what's more insane is she only need 22 LP crystals to use this LP. So you can easily spam this. Okay, I forgot to tell you that this LP also gives you AoE magic protection. So you don't need to worry. Okay, you can simply maintain buff and protect all allies at the same time. How's that not amazing? Really good tanky. Tanker, I mean, okay. For Trustmaster, I must say it is not that interesting. Sure, it has nice spirit, defense, health, and MP, but I think Lotus Mage Fina Trustmaster reward, okay? Hairpin of Purity is much, much more useful because most characters need that all elements resist, okay? But this is still good. Mm, yeah, another weak point from her is she cannot equip rope but that's maybe not a problem because the next character gonna give her what she needs the four stars character freeze she gets really nice trust master okay this is an a heavy armor but this has insanely high spirit 101 spirit so yeah it is even higher than most rope in the game okay so this is really good piece uh heavy armor for charlotte but again as a magical tank i think rainbow rope is the best body slot you can equip on your aoe magic tank okay because it has nice elemental resist but yeah i think this is good for charlotte okay when she cannot equip rope and another unique thing about Freeze is she can break 65% single stats. Okay, single stats, but it's decaying break. So it's kind of gimmicky. And her LB maybe maybe she's the best four stars breaker because her LB is 65% all stats break. That's amazing, but really you want to use her. Okay, sure, she has innate dual wield, so very nice. Maybe she will be useful on exclusive four stars. I mean, yeah, four stars, four stars and three stars based exclusive trial. And next, ship part. This ship part is kind of unique, guys, because it is really interesting that he knows absolute mirror of equity. So really, I really, really confused why. Until now, they don't give um, four stars base character Chaos Wave or Absolute Mirror of Equity moves. Okay, but this one Shepard has that Absolute Mirror of Equity, so it maybe it is a nice step. Maybe in next in the future we will get another character that able to chain with Absolute Equity and Chaos Wave. It is not a problem for me because I will never use. Four stars base, but it is really important for newbie players okay, to have that absolute mirror of equity. And his trust master reward is nice, 30% water, wind, and earth resist, but yeah, it is niche. So I doubt you're gonna use your trust moogle to get this trust master, okay? But yeah, it is not a bad trust master. So yep, those are all the characters. Now, the final question, should you summon? So. In my opinion, yes, you must get her if you don't have AoE Magic Tank. But if you already have 7 stars Magic Tank, let's say Mercenary Ramza, uh, Mercenary Ramza, then Awakened Rain, Burial, Lilith, then I don't think you need her. 
what if you have sick heart sick heart is not aoe magic tanks he is a physical so yeah i still recommend you to get secret shield charlotte okay because sick heart aoe magic tank is a uh, cooldown move so it is not safe and yes why i don't recommend you to summon her when you already have seven stars tanker yes secret shield charlotte is probably the best aoe magic tank at this moment but until this point current seven stars magic tank is already are enough okay to tackle all the trials that's why i don't think you need to have her if you already have that aoe magic tank okay yes more powerful but not needed and you can create nice composition using her like i said iron you can ditch your buffer and maybe two most important factors is if you or if you have barrel because they have said that they will upgrade barrel in july so may maybe if you already have barrel you want to wait until barrel gets his update and then decide whether you want to pull Sacred Shield Charlotte or not Be because Sacred Shield Charlotte is a permanent character so you can use your UOC to get her and I think it's worth to use your UOC for her because AoE Magic Tank is key piece for your party and AoE Magic Tank is not prone to power creep because really guys Awaken Rain is yeah, from what I can remember one years ago he was released but until today he is still very very good okay i believe that's will that will be the same for secret she charlotte she will be very good even for next year okay and the second reason is elena but yeah that's maybe not interesting for you if you don't like hybrid character okay so yep i think that's all you need to know and yeah actually remember that we have usual step up summon okay we get guaranteed sacred shield charlotte so let's say if you have twenty four thousand lapis it is not a bad deal simply finish the one step up and then wait until the event's over and use your uoc to get her so yep thank you very much for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy Brave XVS guy. Bye bye guys.